Hello everyone, welcome to day 5 of Fernbrook School Mission Week 2023. At the very outset, I would like to acknowledge God who has been with us throughout these past four days. And this evening also, it is a privilege for us to come together in this manner, spend some time in devotion and prayers. This evening, we will be praying for the church leaders. And in order to do that, we will be hearing a word of God from Romans chapter 12, verse 3 to 8. Let us hear as one of our students recite for all of us. Romans chapter 12, verses 3 to 8. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, from one body and each member belongs to all the other. We have different gifts according to the faith given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophecy is in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Romans chapter 12 verses 3 to 8. Thank you. Thank you. Even as we have heard, as we meditate on it, let us pray that God will bless each and every one of us. This evening, before we pray, we will also be privileged with a very special song sung by our little ones from Yugeji. The title of the song is Give Me Oil in My Lamp. Thank you. God bless you all. It's a very beautiful chorus that calls out to God to give us oil, to keep us burning. That is what exactly is needed in the life of our church leaders. In times like this, where darkness has most probably overshadowed us, we need the light to fill them so that they will keep on burning and show us their way. We are blessed with many dedicated servants of God who are tirelessly working in the field of the Lord as the light of the world and as the salt of the earth. And we are grateful to God for blessing us with such amazing people. But if we look into our society today, especially in the life of our church leaders, somewhere down the line if we see, we can say that maybe there are a few of them that have forgotten the real call of God. There are a few of them, most probably the lights in their life are slowly dying. And it is to this kind of people that we need to be asking God to help them come out of those, to fill them up with His oil so that they will continue to burn. Let us pray today that God will intervene in their lives and God will bless each and every one of us. This evening we have three 
prayer points that we will be praying for. Firstly, let us pray for all the church leaders that there will be unity, peace, humility, and love amongst them. These are the principles that our Lord Jesus Christ lived by and taught us. And these are the principles that every servant of God is expected to be following. But unfortunately today, whether we like it or not, whether we accept it or not, it seems to be fading away. Let us pray specifically for this upon each and every one of them, that God will help them understand the calling, that it is a high call, that they need to humble themselves, that they need to forgive, forget, they live to be united and move forward. Secondly, let us pray for revival amongst our church leaders. This is what our church leaders need the most. Instead of criticizing them, instead of cursing them, why not we pray for them that God will intervene in their lives so that through them, revival may once again fall into our place and we will also reap the blessings of God. Thirdly, let us pray for God-fearing, humble and committed young spiritual leaders in our state. We need that. We need people who would live with examples, not just preach. We need people who don't just only talk, but walk the talk. Let us pray that God will bless us with such kind of people so that our Christianity will grow in such a way that we will continue to be a blessing for others so that it will grow as a movement that when others see us they will just look at us and say I just want to be like these people let us pray for them so these are the three prayer points that we will be specifically praying for them apart from this if there are any good points that you have in your mind you may aid it and pray even as we pray let us hope that God will bless all our church leaders. Thank you. God bless us all.